But a friend of mine just asked me how our how our wheat was doing. Uh, it's 29th of March today, and well, this is just solid triticale. Our, our wheat uh, circles a little taller. This stuff's been growing pretty good now for a while. I've got, there's a hundred acres here between the two circles, and I've got probably between 650 pounds of cattle to the acre to 700 pounds. Um, I, I just, they're still out here. I pulled everything off the other circle, and they're sitting here. Uh, we're feeding silage to them. They're, I, typically the cattle really go on silage pretty well this year they man they just have not wanted to eat any silage until now where this stuff is just uh green enough that they're really going after it but they are eating silage like crazy so what we're doing is we're feeding them oh they're probably eating 2500 pounds of silage a day so that'd be about 25 25 pounds of silage per head per day and our triticale I mean it's it's doing good we just put down some uh, 28005 fertilizer because uh, we did a put up quite a bit of fertilizer down in the fall and so this is just topping her off we were going to silage this but um, I think now we're uh, we're kind of stepping away from that idea. I'm gonna make a deal on some silage I've been buying anyway. Uh, contract some because that silage has already got all the shrink out of it. And so I mean, if we put up our own silage, then we have to factor in shrink and things like that. Uh, the other factor behind that is the cattle market right now is is, is just falling on its ass. So, I'm going to leave these calves out here and just let them grow. Get as big as they can. Because he, these calves will make money. I've got another group of calves that I started buying in, in November. And they just died like flies until about the first middle of February. You know, first February, middle of February. <coughs> and it just, uh, they're their break-even numbers are pretty pretty rough so what we're gonna do is I was gonna buy calves and put on the other circle I plan to graze that completely out <clears throat> well I'm gonna sort up the 200 head of calves that I've got that had a real bad death loss on them and some of them are hell some of them are 750 pounds they're ready to go to the sale now but what I'll do is I'll sell what I can out of them and then anything that's smaller, I'll just dump out on wheat and let them go until they just completely eat it all up. Uh, it, I'm going to have to, I've got part of these calves that are in a feed pen. I'm going to have to sell them anyway just because, you know, even though the market's down. Because I'm buying grass calves right now and you know, I need another 100, 100 plus thousand to finish up buying what I need for grass, so I'll dump them. I don't want to, but these calves have done good enough on wheat, and with still having over 100 head left on wheat that can just sit here and grow until this market shakes out, I can do that and, and just uh, limp through that one. But, yeah, it's these calves are doing doing good I, I got a few smaller ones and that's really what these calves were these were the ones that came in at the very end and we we turned them out they were small dinky calves when they got here and now they're just they're just growing they're doing good they're growing you know we're all there's probably 80 steers and 20 heifers but I mean look at look at that boy over there. I'm gonna zoom in. Look at him. He's just doing good. But yeah, uh, the only kind of concern I have right now is my damn alfalfa. Like I got a lot of alfalfa in these two circles here. 
And that, that's something I'm kind of concerned about grazing it out. That may be a problem. Uh, if it gets to be too big of a problem, then I'll just pull all these calves and sell them and, and be done with it. Because I don't want to lose calves. But, yeah, they want to come in and get some silage. But I might be able to just feed them enough silage where it's not an issue where they don't bloat. Uh, I've got some bloat blocks, but they can't graze anything with alfalfa or be fed hay that has alfalfa in it for 48 hours. And they're kind of already out here, so I could put maybe some like tide in the water or something like that. Keep them pretty loose. So, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of... That's, that'd be my only concern, is just the amount of alfalfa I have. You know, if uh, it's great for hay. Like, these circles are great for hay, because, you know, this triticale will get up, oh, up to my shoulders. You know, five foot tall, five and a half foot tall. And then that alfalfa will get, I mean, just deep in here. And it makes hellacious hay. Uh, it's just kind of a... Uh, it's just kind of shitty for grazing which you know i could spray it but it's it's something i'd rather work around you, this is what happens when you you get dirty seed from eastern colorado it just plugs your fucking tubes up and you drill and it just i got bags of that crap left just junk so, I'm not, I'm not sore about that at all. Not at all. Just tons of that crap happened. But, there's a little dinky guy. He's not, he wasn't part of the cows we bought for wheat. He was just a, a little knothead that come in here. Little $300 knothead. I think he's worth more than $300 now. He, uh, we get some little, little knotheads that, we kind of get on a, a side deal and they're so little they can just crawl through the those feeder panels at the barn and they just come down to the feedlot or or we'll just kick them out. I mean he didn't even have a brand on him so I'm going to have to you just kind of <coughs> kick them out and forget about them. That's, that's what you do with them. But Yeah so this is this is how it's doing. I mean, I'm really, really pleased with it. Our water tank is right there. So, I mean, this is the heaviest gray spot. You can see some yellow out there. Uh, apparently, it's just higher pH. I haven't really had those issues before. But I guess it... I guess I do now. Um, I've got my dry land wheat right here. And... It didn't come up worth a crap. And all this is all hard pan anyway. I need to subsoil it. No till some hay grazer in it or something. Just kind of hold the ground. But I'll kind of walk through since there's a bunch of these calves here now. Got my feed lots just right, right there. I have a hot wire fence for now. I'm going to have to put in a permanent fence. Because I hate hot wires. So. Yeah, these... I'd say they're doing pretty, pretty good. We just, we'll just come up here and we'll dump, dump silage out for them and they just eat the heck out of it. So this calf here, he's got a C6 in his ear and that stands for chronic six, group six. He never had anything done to him. I turned about, 20 of them out see you still got nuts on them and I, I think I, I lost probably half of them they were pretty bad but what we, we get to the point where you know we can't doctor them anymore or they're just not doing anything we just dump them out on wheat and what lives lives um, the bad thing about him those calves like that is uh, you turn them out and they usually do pretty decent but we've had such a dry, dry winter, really high winds, that 
they just uh, the wind is just so so strong it pushes them around well their lungs are already burned up to begin with and it, the wind will kill them just I mean it, it really will just kill a calf so you know that's always always something fun but yeah he's like there's another one of those little dinks you know he he doesn't have a brand on him but yeah this is just old corn silage and I'm not mixing anything with it at all just give it to him straight and it works pretty good these guys are hungry I haven't got them fed yet I've been dicking around making YouTube videos but I thought uh, this would be a good video kind of update on the on the tree kill I'll have to show you guys the other circle looks pretty I mean look at, look at this guy you know, they're southern type calves. They're not pretty. I'm not. I'm not saying that they're pretty calves. But when they come in, you buy them cheap, and if you can keep them alive, which if you can keep them alive, you'll make money on them. But that's that's the big that's the big problem. It's keeping them alive. This little calf here, I think it's number one. walking was a chronic yeah that one's some coffin you get to the point where that one was hey she's not gonna look at me that one was probably a chronic yep 75 those little calves like that they'll get all sunk in in the hind end and I mean they can barely walk you just give them some time I'd like to get me a uh, little like five acre patch or something uh, and I've got some underground pipeline I'd like to get it where I can uh, just put some weed in there and water it get some deep deep wheat and uh, maybe get like a little like lean to or something and use that for my chronics instead of having to dump them out here but We'll see what happens. We'll see what I end up doing. So, that's what, uh, that's how the wheat's doing. That circle's a lot shorter than this one. I, but it's really starting to grow now. There, you, can, you can barely see anything, but there's some, there's some wheat growing up there, which is good. We need it to hold the soil. Uh, we'll never take a disc across our dry land again we'll just uh no-till something into it and get something to hold the ground but we had to get some stuff leveled out this year so everyone's just slowly making their way up to the the feed trials so, well you know they're coming off this green wheat they're just leaving it to go eat silage so that's a pretty good deal uh, if you stuck around this long thanks for watching uh really really appreciate you guys liking the videos and watching the videos and I really appreciate that check that Google sends me because cattle business is not real fun financially it's not fun at all so every little bit helps it really does uh, that night I just like the general conversation so if you got any questions about about this stuff what we planted you know leave it down in the comments and we'll try to get her answered stay tuned for more